Chrissy from Chrissy Books and Berries here, and I am in my cousin's room! It's beautiful! She just painted it, and that's her background. It's so cool. I feel like a beauty guru, but for books. Anyway, um, I am here with my December holiday recommends that go with her DIY holiday Christmas drink. So before I start with that, I am currently reading The Queen of Tearling by Erica Johansson. I just started it last night, and so far I think it's pretty good. It has promise. So I might be giving you guys a book review about that. So the first book that I'm going to be recommending to you guys is basically your, your everyday, well not everyday, but like your usual kind of holiday books. And first up we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is actually not my copy, it's my best friend's copy. She lent it to me. This is also the first uh, Harry Potter book purse that I read. And, well, of course, I mean, it's book one, but, I mean, this is, this is the actual copy the first time I read it. So, I thought it was really good, and it's such a holiday series, even though it wasn't really meant for the holidays, but it has that feel. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure some, a lot of people are reading the Harry, rereading the Harry Potter series this season right now, actually. Okay. So the second recommendation is something I read recently. It's called Wildwood by Colin Malloy and Carson Ellis. It's about two kids who basically find, uh, they go into the woods near their city and like there's a huge adventure there because uh, the lead girl's uh, younger brother got stolen by a flock of crows. Crows was it? Yes. So I read this recently and I thought it was so good. I think I have a review on it on Goodreads if you guys want to check that out. And um, the third book, if you're not into like super duper adventure with magic and things like that, is a contemporary romance by um, David Levithan and Rachel Kahn called Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. Um, I read this pretty quickly and I really enjoyed it because what I usually read are like... Um, Hmm. More of the high fantasy historical fiction, so I'm always into the deep, like dark stuff. But then when I read this, I was like, oh, so refreshing. I think it's like I think a high reading because I'm not used to reading contemporary romance so often. So contemporary YA romance. And because when I saw it was David Levison, I'm like, I'm buying this because I know he's good. I know he can make me laugh or cry. So that's in the least book of theirs, everyone. The next one. Hmm. Okay, so that was YA romance, but if you're not for um, something so young, I'm gonna recommend The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is more of an adult fantasy romance, and I know I recommended it for my fall, but it is like the burr months all around. So if you didn't read this for, for fall, I suggest you read this in December. It's completely new different and it's just so it's just so peaceful you know you don't really get to say that about a lot of books but that's what this one is and hmm, another one another contemporary oh it's kind of contemporary i'm not really sure you could say it was high fantasy it's um stardust by neil gaiman there is there really isn't a holiday or time of the year when at least one Neil Gaiman book isn't um, appropriate. So I have I've never really read Stardust, but it's on my list of books to read for next year. Um, I've seen the movie though, and I really like the movie. I've actually watched it more than once. But yeah, so I'm gonna recommend Stardust by Neil Gaiman. And I've already recommended this in my cousin's channel, but I'm gonna re-recommend this here. It's the Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, the prequel to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, pick this up right now. Although, it's hard not to know what I'm talking about since the third movie's coming up. And it feels kind of stretched, like one small book into three three-hour movies. And that's a quote from somewhere, I forgot where, but yeah. But still, I'm pretty happy with the adaptation so far. Okay, now um, if you guys aren't really into the like happy adventure type 
um, books but you for December but you're more like the calmer darker type holiday book for Christmas that's like a different turn I would suggest The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova I'm only recommending this mostly because I read this um, last December and I meant to get through this quickly but it turned into a slow read throughout the whole month and I wasn't pre I wasn't really upset with that but I loved it because um, it really took me on a journey step by step it's about um, this basically this family who's looking for Dracula. I know, right? Christmas, Dracula. But it just gives me holiday feel. And the next one that's a bit younger but not as um, adulty but still dark is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. What gives you more Christmas feels than a dark mystery Victorian book, aged YA book, you know? Why not for Christmas? If you don't want the happy skippy type books, why not? this. The last book, I don't have a picture, I mean I don't have a book, a physical copy with me right now because I still need to buy the series, but I've read the whole series, is C.S. Lewis's um, Chronicles of Narnia, but it's, yeah. but not the whole series, just basically the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe, because you know how like they come out and it's winter time and they're all like, we don't have Christmas, but it's always winter, and I know there's Christmas there at some point, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please um, comment down below uh, what you think of my recommends. Do you agree? Do you not agree? What are you reading this December, this holiday season? What are you eating with what you're reading? And I hope we can be friends and I hope you enjoy your holiday season. Bye!